Hi guys and welcome back. Make sure you like and subscribe below. Today what we're looking at is an army surplus or military surplus uh, kit bag here that I picked up at an army navy store in Chicago. Um, so uh, these bags are just pure volume. There's not much to them in pockets or organization wise, but they can carry a ton. Um, it's over 50 liters of storage in this big bag. So let's take a look at it and uh, see what it does actually have in terms of features. So one of the main features is it's a big bag. So if you look right here, it can be quite wide bag. You can see this is the width of the bag here. It gets actually really wide. Um, on the outside of the bag, it's pretty nondescript. Depending on where you buy it and what markings are on your bag, some bags may or may not have these markings on them here. You can barely see them, but there's little black lines there. And those indicate kind of the serial number of the bag and some other specifications of the bag as well. Um, now, that's pretty much all the outside. I mean, the outside's pretty plain Jane, right? Um, on the top of the bag here where the zipper is located, if we zipper it up, it has what we call a storm flap. So this flap here, which has buttons, buttons to the front of the bag here. So we can close a few of them here. They are actually quite hard to close, but uh, I mean it's just harder to get open and it just doesn't flop open. So you can see I just closed a few of them. So you open this up and then it reveals the zipper. It kind of keeps the water out of the top of the bag. So when you open it up, it comes with these little ties on it. You just rip that open and that reveals just the inside of the bag. Let's flip the bag inside out because there's really not, nothing on the inside of the bag at all. So it's just pure volume. So let's flip it inside out and take a look at some of the construction of the bag. So if you look at the construction of the bag on the corners here, it's actually really nicely done. Um, it's pretty clean on the inside for being a used bag. You can tell there's a little bit of grit on it, but no big deal. Um, something that could easily be taken care of, really. Uh, but everything seems to be seamed up quite nicely. And again, you can see a better idea of the kind of the width of the bag right here as well on how wide they determined it when it needed to be. Flip it back out, inside out. And that's all there is to it. Now, one of the things that people have mentioned is the short handles that are on these kit bags here. So these short handles here kind of make it awkward for holding because you really have to hold it here. Some people have mentioned that they would like to hold it kind of behind their backs like this. And with a short, with such short handles, it makes it not too bad to do, but it kind of looks a little awkward walking around like this. So, um, GoRuck has now decided to come out with their version of the kit bags, which you can find on their website. We got one on their way to us, and we'll do a comparison video versus the $25 one versus the $160 uh, go ruck one so we'll see how it comes out but this is the army surplus one between 20 and 35 dollars um, you can get them shipped to your house or find your latest or closest i should say uh army navy store military surplus store and they should have them so um again make sure you like and subscribe below if there's any other videos or anything you'd like to see let me know and i'll keep you updated if i buy any new bags all right see you guys later